Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about a few important things in the world of jailbreaking, particularly the latest version of the Taiji Untethered Jailbreak tool being 2.4.1 that supports up to iOS 8.4, a possible Mac version of Taiji, as well as the latest iteration of Cydia being 1.1.23. Okay, so starting off, there will be two annotations on the screen now, the first of which will be a link to my untethered Taiji jailbreak tutorial for iOS 8.4 that's been updated with links for Taiji 2.4.1, so if you jailbreak utilizing that guide, you will receive the latest version of Taiji, which features massive stability improvements that I'll go over in just a second, and the other video is actually my top Cydia tweaks to install on iOS 8.3 or 8.4 once jailbroken video. I recommend watching both of them, and with that said, let's go ahead and get straight into this by first of all talking about the latest updates to Taiji being 2.4.1. But as a quick sidebar, as I mentioned before the intro, it's rumored that the group is developing a Mac OS X utility, which will be incredibly exciting because up until now they've developed exclusively for Windows. As of now though, it's an unsubstantiated rumor. The group has yet to say one way or another if they're developing the tool. So the best thing to do is to click that subscribe button down below next to my channel name if you have yet to and I will let you guys know if and when a Taiji for Mac utility is released. With that said, let's talk about version 2.4.1, which simply fixes the issue of users getting stuck at 60%. And I know other updates have said that before, primarily version 2.1.2. However, based on user experience and feedback that they've received, this version claims to fix almost all issues of users getting stuck at 60%. Though if you followed my tutorial to the letter, you won't encounter any issues regardless of which Taiji version you jailbreak with. It also optimizes the process of the jailbreak and improves its stability. Now this update isn't nearly as important as the one that I discussed last week concerning the security of Taiji, which is absolutely paramount. So if you have yet to watch that video, you're interested in your device's security and you haven't updated in a while and you already jailbroke previously, then just be sure to watch that video. I will have an annotation on the screen now that will link directly to the segment discussing the security of Taiji. And once that wraps up, there will be another annotation to return right here. And for those of you who, like myself, are already jailbroken, the latest Taiji untether package is still version 2.3. So if you updated since last week, you're not missing out. You're completely fine. You do not need to jailbreak again with Taiji 2.4.1. You'll be good to go because that still installs the Taiji untether 2.3 package. For those of you who maybe haven't updated in a while, though, just be sure to launch Cydia, go to the Changes tab at the bottom, tap Refresh in the upper left-hand corner, and install any and all available updates from Taiji. Remember, it is very important that you have the latest 2.3 Untether package installed. And now let's discuss what I find to be the coolest part of this video, Cydia Installer version 1.1.23, guys. This is from Soric. And by the way, be sure to give this video a big thumbs up if you appreciate the incredibly hard work that both Taiji and Soric have put into this latest jailbreak, guys it takes so many hours and they've done an absolutely incredible job at delivering the best possible experience for us jailbreakers. So now into version 1.1.23, it offers some additional features, but since the last time I updated you guys, I discussed version 1.1.20. So what's happened since then? Well, essentially version 1.1.21 corrected some bug fixes, but it introduced new bugs. So version 1.1.22 corrected said bugs and now now in version 1.1.23, we have some incredibly awesome new features. First and foremost, if you go to the main Cydia tab now, what you can do is you can tap on the Find Extensions for Applications section, and what it'll do is it'll automatically analyze the apps that you have installed on your device, and it will bring back the packages available inside of Cydia based on the current repositories that affect said applications. So guys, this is absolutely incredible, and it will definitely help tweak discovery. For instance, you can see that there are currently 11 Cydia tweaks available inside of the repositories I have on Cydia that affect the Cydia app itself. So if I were to tap into it, it would bring them all back here. It tells me whether they're free or premium, and you can just install them by tapping into it. It's really as simple as that. It's absolutely great, and it does it automatically. So let's go back to the Cydia tab here, and let's go inside of the change log. So scrolling down here, this feature was inspired
inspired by on limb apps and it says that this technique is exciting as it doesn't rely on repositories and developers to manually tag their packages and most of the information is already picked up automatically by Cydia's quote whole package index which is amazing guys it means developers do not have to tag their packages to affect certain applications Cydia will automatically pick that out for them also it fixed a bug where clearing caches could crash Cydia and finally it now allows for downgrades so let me show you what I mean if you're interested in the downgrade portion of Cydia so essentially let's say a developer issues a new update to their package like for instance Sorik even said sometimes when he issues new updates like version 1.1.21 it breaks other features well now if the developer leaves the previous version of the package available on the same repository users will be able to downgrade said package by simply tapping on modify followed by downgrade remember right now Cydia installer is the only package really that supports this downgrade feature because it's a brand new feature Sorik just introduced it and up until now developers haven't left the previous version of their packages available on the same repository so if I were to just go to any other package I just have the reinstall or remove feature or upgrade if there's a new upgrade pending but now I do have downgrade inside of City installer so I can tap on it and you can see that I have version 1.1.22 which is the previous version that just contained bug fixes so if I wanted to I could tap on it and then from there I could tap on confirm and it would downgrade Cydia it's actually going through the process right now and I should receive a respring prompt shortly it may crash but it will still downgrade Cydia and I'll prove it to you guys by showing that Cydia does have a pending update all right so as you can see there it did crash what I'm going to do is I'm just going to respring because I did receive the respring prompt prior to said crash and then we'll see what happens from there so let's go ahead and wait for this respring to complete Okay, so now let's go ahead and launch Cydia and let it refresh here. As you can see, we have an essential upgrade. So let's go ahead and tap on upgrade. As you can see, it wants to upgrade the Cydia installer. I'm going to just click cancel, go to the changes section and tap into Cydia installer. And now we have version 1.1.23 available as an upgrade. So guys, this is an amazing update to Cydia. We have two incredibly awesome new features. I really do hope you guys enjoy them remember the finding tweaks for specific application section is amazing and it will definitely help those of you who are always looking for new tweaks to modify your device more specifically to modify the applications available on your device if you guys did like this video and you found the information helpful be sure to rate it up and if you're interested in winning a brand new iPad Air 2 navigate to freeappsfast.com inside of mobile Safari sign up start downloading apps it's as simple as that once you do you can come back here and leave a relevant comment Comment down below in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about the latest Taiji untethered jailbreak as well as Cydia and kind of just the whole situation in general and the number of updates that we received as of late. And if you want to be updated more often, such as when I release new videos covering various things ranging from Cydia and Taiji updates to new iterations of iOS, specifically iOS 9, then just be sure to subscribe if you have yet to, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. <laughs>